गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट असाइनमेंट नंबर थ्री दैट इज राइट एन असेंबली लैंग्वेज प्रोग्राम टू फाइंड द लार्जेस्ट ऑफ द गिवन गिवन बाइट वर्ड डबल वर्ड और सिक्सटी फोर बिट नंबर एंड वी हैव टू डिस्प्ले दैट नंबर ऑन द स्क्रीन सो वी कैन द इनपुट कैन बी द array of bytes or it can be array of words or it can be array of double words or it can be um, the array of quad words or it can be the array of quad words now see here uh, i have taken uh, for example i have taken it for array of bytes but you can take any of the data type that is word double word or quad word so see in this particular array uh, suppose the numbers are these five numbers are stored in this particular array that is 11h 55h 33h 22h and 44h so uh, for finding out the largest number we are using the instruction compare that means we are comparing the uh, subsequent location uh, the numbers from the subsequent location and we are checking whether which number is greater and accordingly we find out the um, the largest number from that particular array so now this particular array you already know so you have to declare this array in the section dot data section dot data you can also modify this particular program for uh, into uh, you accept the numbers from the user and then uh, you store it in the array and then you find the largest number from that array this way also you can do it here we have directly taken the numbers or declare the numbers under the section dot data so um, under section dot data we have declared the array db 11h 55h 33h 22h and 44h these five numbers we have declared array define byte db is define byte 11h 55h all the five numbers are uh, declared then section dot bss section dot bss we have declared one uh, one variable uh, that is counter cnt reserve byte one we have reserved one byte to that variable uh, under section dot text global underscore start and underscore start colon now uh, um, how many how many uh, numbers are there in the array there are five numbers so we have to put the five value in the uh, in this count variable so move byte into bracket cnt actually there is a mistake over here instead of counter it is the cnt because we have declared it as a cnt move byte into bracket cnt comma 05 so five is the counter value then um, now see what we have to do we have to um, first point to the array to access 11 we have have to first point to the array uh, we are accessing one by one the number from the array and we are comparing it comparing the subsequent numbers and likewise we find out the largest number from the array that's why we have written here move rsi comma array now whenever we write move rsi comma array the starting address of the array will get stored in rsi so rsi contains the starting address of the array now initially uh, i have taken the number move al comma 0 because what uh, what is the concept over here see if i take 11 and 55 that means first i uh, if i take 11 and 55 these two subsequent numbers and compare then there is this is one comparison then we find out the largest uh, then compare it with 33h this is another comparison then um, then the third comparison with 22h and the fourth comparison with 44h that means actually there are four comparisons But I have a counter of five, so what I will do? I will take the first value at zero, and I will compare with this zero with eleven h. So the, this is the first comparison. Uh, then uh, the largest value from this second comparison. Likewise, if I take the initial value at zero, um, then uh, there are total five comparisons, and that is equivalent to your counter value. That's why uh, here it is written as move al comma zero. Compare al comma into bracket. RSI. Now, what this instruction will do? This instruction will compare the AL with the con uh, the contents of the array. That means, see, compare AL. AL is zero, and into bracket RSI, where RSI is pointing to the starting point of the array. So, what are the contents of the starting address? Eleven. So, eleven is compared with zero. 
कंपेर ए एल कॉमा इन टू ब्रैकेट आर एस आई सो जीरो एंड इलेवन इज कंपेर नाउ सी जीरो इज लेस दैन इलेवन राइट सो हियर जम्प इफ ग्रेटर इफ द ए एल इज ग्रेटर दैन इफ ए एल इज ग्रेटर दैन द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द एर ए देन जम्प टू द स्कीप अदरवाइज एक्सचे द इंस्ट्रक्शन इज एक्सचेंज ए एल कॉमा इन टू ब्रैकेट आर एस आई ना वॉट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस द मीनिंग इज दैट इफ द ए एल वैल्यू इज लेस दैन इन टू ब्रैकेट आर एस आई देन द आर एस आई कंटेंट्स विल गेट ट्रांसफर्ड इन टू ए एल दैट मीन्स ऑलवेज ए एल कंटेंट्स द ग्रेटेस्ट वैल्यू ग्रेटर वैल्यू फ्रॉम फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिक्युलर कंपेरिजन फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिक्युलर कंपेरिजन सो जीरो एंड इलेवन इलेवन इज ग्रेटर राइट इलेवन इज ग्रेटर सो एक्सचेंज इंस्ट्रक्शन इज कैरिड आउट E X C H G A L comma into bracket R S I. So contents of R S I will get transferred to A L. So contents of R S I is 11H. So 11H gets transferred to A L. That means now A L becomes 11. Initially A L is zero. So zero and 11 is compared. And whatever the value uh, greater value in between that that is 11, it gets stored into A L. That means every time after comparison, the greater value gets get stored in al register right so see if it is greater then we don't have to exchange if al contains a greater greater value then you don't have to exchange right but if al contains a less value than the contents of the array then you have to use the exchange instruction then if it is then uh, we have to uh, so we have found out the greater value between 0 and 11 it is 11 now 11 we have to compared with 55h that means we have to access the next element of the array for that purpose we have incremented the um, uh, rsi so that is inc rsi so what happens whenever you write the instruction inc rsi rsi the address rsi will be incremented by 1 that means suppose rsi is initially 2 2000, 2000 becomes 2001. So where your RSI is pointing, RSI is pointing to the next location of the array. Decrement byte count. So uh, we have done one comparison. That's why we have decremented the counter value by one. So five becomes four. Jump if no zero, LP. So if it is not zero, we will again go up and we will compare L with the next element of the array. That is. A L. Now, what is the value of A L? A L is eleven. And what is the value of the contents of the array? Whenever it is written into bracket, it is the contents of two thousand and one. If we take the address, this particular address as two thousand and one. So, contents of two thousand and one, it is fifty five. It is compared with eleven. So, see, eleven is less than fifty five. So, we have to exchange. So, uh, jump if greater. This condition is not satisfied. So, it It will go to exchange, so uh, the fifty five will get stored in AL. So from eleven and fifty five, the uh, greater value is fifty uh, five. So now in AL you will get fifty five. Again we will increment RSI, decrement the counter uh, J N Z, and again we will compare it. Again we will compare the next element. That means after every comparison, whatever the value that is greater, that will be available in AL register. So finally when the counter is Zero. Finally, when the counter is zero, the in AL you will get the greater value uh, or largest value from the array. So, what is the next thing? You uh, next thing you have to do. You have to display the contents of AL. So, we will use the display procedure as we have discussed in the previous practical. That now here I have to display the AL. So, what I will write? I will write the instruction move BL comma AL. I will rotate. Uh, I will use the Counter as two because I have to display the two digits, so I will use the counter as two. I will rotate the contents of BL by four bits, right? I will end it with zero F. I will compare it with zero nine, and if it is less than or equal to zero nine, I will add thirty H, right? And that value is stored in the result array. So I have to declare the result array. So likewise, I will display that particular byte on the screen. That will display the largest value from the array. I hope everybody has understood. 
दिस पर्टिकुलर असाइनमेंट